Hello everybody, Grips here and welcome once again. So today I'm going to show you uh, how you can create a pretty cool text effect. So you, as you can see now running in the background as I speak, uh, the word Grips disintegrates in a thousand pieces and then rejoins into a completely different word. So how we do that? Well, that's quite simple and I will teach you how this is done. So open up your Corel video. And we're going to be using the Boris FX filter. So let's uh, drag that onto our timeline and onto our footage. Once we got there, we're going to Customs Filter. And we want the Advanced Mode. So let's go straight into the Advanced Mode. So first thing we need to do is create the text. So I'm just going to type in Crips. And then at this point, you can also then change the look, the font, the color, and so forth. If you watch my previous videos, you'll see how that's all done. So I'm not going to teach you how to do that in this one. Once you're happy with your word, just type, uh, just hit the update button, and there you go. Now, if you want to change the size of that, you will need to do that within this window. Because if you close the text window and then use the resize nodes over here, you will then uh, change the scale, and we don't want that. All right. So let's uh, close the text window. So first thing we need to do is add the effect. So go into your text uh, track, go uh, right click, filter, you want to go distortion perspective and you want to go for the 2D particles. There you go. So if I press play now you'll immediately see what the 2D particle effect looks like. So as you can see this will uh, this will be done relatively quickly. Alright let's slide that all the way back. It's very, very simple how to do all this. I'm amazed that I uh, even worked all this out. I think I've said that once before in uh, one of my videos. Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, so the duration of my clip, uh, you can see here is six seconds. So I wanted to probably start within two seconds after I press play. So I am going to grab my slider and then drag it. Now I'm going to watch the time here to the uh, two second mark. There you go, there you go. All right, so two seconds and I'm going to enter a keyframe. So control N and this will give me a keyframe. So voila, there's my first keyframe. So it's all looking good now, right? All right, now once we have created our keyframe, we continue. All right. Now, what we need to do is we go up in here, because this is where our, all our transitions or the effect we can manipulate. So, in our scatter, I want you to go on left click, go accelerate, and automate, we want to go manual. Okay. Now, we want this effect to last one second, and then we transition that into another word. So, let's grab this and push it right up to about the three second mark. All right, again, control N. All right, and we go back into the scatter. Again, same thing, accelerate. But now we want the value of 380 here. So just type in 380, and everything else is the same. So essentially we're telling the scatter to reform itself. And then that's it. So far, so good. I told you this was easy, but you wouldn't believe me, would you? All right, let's just... Uh, close the drop down menu very simple right click and we want to duplicate the track there you go we just duplicated the track all right looking good now we want to change the word from crips to something else so just double click there you go and then just change it to whatever word you wish so i'm going to go for world because after all it is it's the crips world and updates you can go ahead and close the text window now let's go back into the crypts because what i need to do i need to let's open back up i need this word to disappear off the canvas uh that way the the new world or the new text world will appear so to do that i'm going to shorten the duration of how long the word grip stays on canvas and that means three seconds I also have to do that with my face, and then I just drop that right down, two, three seconds. All right, so we're pretty well done with uh, that track. All we need to do now, very, very simple, is duplicate everything here 
to this side for the the world text. All right, so let's just uh, get rid of that for starters. Open that right up. So far, so good. I told you this was easy, but you wouldn't listen, would you? Uh -huh. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to grab this keyframe and then drop it to the other side. So this keyframe, we will drop it over to the four second mark. All right. Has to be spot on, otherwise even that little bit is going to look really off. I'm still off slightly. All right, that should do it. And then I'm going to dra drag this first keyframe all the way to the other end. And then drop it right on top of that. So far, so good, right? All looking good, all looking good. And all I need to do now is drop my face on to the three second mark. There we go. I told you this was easy. And the world onto the three second mark. And voila. There you go, my friends. It's that easy. Press apply. And let's play. And let's just let it go right to the beginning and then replay itself. So we got grips, shatter. And comes back into the word world. So there you go. It is quite simple to do. And it gives you a pretty cool effect. And as always, thanks for watching.